All right, everybody, welcome to episode 32, I think. Or wait. Is it 33? Damn, I actually don't know. I can't remember if I had to cut or stop recording for the last episode or not. Wait a minute. No, this is episode 33. I'm crazy. Um uh yeah so um i went ahead and um so this boss fight that we're about to go fight it's timed uh you have five turns um the fifth turn you get wiped like you're dead there's no way to block it um so he he attacks three times and then on <coughs> excuse me on the fourth turn he charges and then on the fifth turn he wipes the party and you have to do um something like uh you have to do I think uh 20,000 damage in less than five turns um or you're dead and so with that in mind um I'm going to have uh, Noah is going to be the only one consistently attacking um, and or using spirit. There is not time to heal in this fight, really, unless you make up with it by like casting a lot of powerful spells and burning through MP. So with that in mind, there's really not any use for like defensive items. Um, you know, you really want to kind of just focus on. Um, doing damage like above all else really um and uh you know so with that in mind i'm going to uh actually um hmm. let me give her the target chance there and give the power ring to uh gala all right so there we go. Um, Noah is going to be spiriting and then using her miracle arts. Vaughn is going to spam Kimaro and Gala will alternate between spamming Aluru and spiriting and using his miracle arts. So we'll see how that works. I don't know if it's going to work well, but we'll see. All right. Uh, and without further ado, let's go and do this shit. Yes, I'm ready. No, wait, justice. Wait, uh, no, hold on just a gosh darn minute. Let's jump. I think obviously they're prepared to die. Once Caruso is flattened, Lord Zora will build the kingdom of the mist there. I mean, are we not, is this, are we not already living in a kingdom of the mist? If you want to play with us, come on over. We'll play with you until the explosion comes. What I want to know is how every, how everybody haven't, how have they not just gone to every place where there's a Genesis tree and just uprooted the fucking thing and burned it? This music's pretty fucking fun, by the way, too. So it says 100 HP. Um, but really what that equates to is that every, like, um, every 2,000 damage you do is about 10 HP. So honestly, that counter is a percentage, really. Not any, I mean, nothing more. Um, but yeah, anyway. Vaughn's going to spam Kimaro, and for the first turn, Noah and Gala are going to Spirit. And, uh... Yeah. 
That like went right down his spine. The fucking thing should be dead. In any real world scenario, yeah. That motherfucker's dead. So yeah, its special attacks are basically variations on the uh, Delilah's family's attacks. So like you have Blade Breath is fire, there's Gigaton Press, which is earth, and Thunder Needle, I think, is the thunder one. Um, but yeah, anyway. Alright, more Kimaro! And Noah's Ark. And yeah. So with any luck, this turn will get him below 50%. It should, anyway. By the way, I realize I'm not showing you guys the new hyper arts. I want to, but it's just not worth trying to dick around with that in this fight. This isn't a fight where I want to show off cool moves and shit. I want to like be efficient and kill this thing quickly. Alright. Please be under 50%. Or, er, I guess it won't show me yet. Ow. That looks like it hurts way more than it does. Fuck, he's not under 50%. Shit. Alright, um, whatever. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna make a save state here. So I think this will be kind of the point where I may go wrong. But, I'm just gonna do Kimaro again. Spirit. And then have Gala do his, um, actually. All right, so here, you get to see Gala's third hyper art. Fast forwarding through this because you guys have seen it a million times at this point. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Gigaton breasts. So he's going to, the next turn is going to be the charge up. And so we have to kill him. I don't, I don't, I can't remember if you can get any attacks off in the turn beforehand or not. Um, I suppose we'll see. Um, I could try doing Tempest Break instead of Noah's Ark. I'm not actually sure which will do more damage. Um, but, yeah, screw it, let's try Tempest Break. And then we will have Gala do Aluru again. This should be enough. We'll see. Once again, fast forwarding through this, seen it. Tons of times. Yeah. 
Nice. Oh boy. All right, so. Hopefully, Aloru kills it. Come on, do it. Fuck. Uh, okay. I might be screwed. I don't actually know. I'm just gonna throw everything I can at it. Okay, awesome. So you can actually get some attacks in on the quote-unquote last turn. He's definitely dead now. Oh boy, that was scary. You get a shit ton of experience for doing all that. That's that's nice. I mean, the poor fucking thing is clearly like fucked all hell. Like, look at it. Yeah, I'm shocked it's even still in a piece. Yeah, it just kind of peels apart like a hard-boiled egg and... lets a bunch of heat out. Go figure. And of course, that melts the ice. It seems like a lot of ice to melt. It seemed like it would have flooded this poor fucking town. <laughs> now we're gonna have a, a lesson on the problem of good versus evil. Koro too became evil only because of the mist. Sir will merely amplify the strength of humans. Whether Sir does good or evil ultimately depends on the person using it. Terry, you're a good Sir, right? Hmm. We raw Sir are the way we are because we have been in the human world too long. Now let's go back to Buma. I don't know if that really makes sense, but okay. Anyway, so we now, okay, that's nice. It just dumps us right back out at the, uh, where we want to be. Um, so that's good. That means that, uh, oh, whoops, did not mean to do that. Take all this shit off. Um, so yeah, uh, we can just go straight to Buma and revive the Genesis tree and... Peace, love, and happiness. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, uh, I'm going to change my equipment around just a little bit. Um, huh. That. Magic Grail, and Vaughn will get... Huh. Alright, so now I'm at the point where I actually have enough good accessories that I can't equip them all. <laughs> it's an awful problem to have, I know. Um... Hmm.
Uh, I definitely want to keep the Magic Grail equipped on somebody at all times, just because it will save me having to use healing items in the long run by a good, you know, a good amount. So that's going to stay right where it is. Um, and uh, I also think that I want to give the... Yeah, I'm going to give the spiritual to somebody else so that it will... We can kind of spread those benefits out. And as far as everything else is concerned, I think... Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Um, all right, I'm actually going to remove this from Gala. Give, um, bond the power ring, and then give Noah the Warsel because she's going to be using a lot more arts because of the metal gem. And then I'll give Gala the, um, what was it? Target chain. Yeah, because he, he hits less generally than everybody else, although that'll eventually become an obsolete disadvantage. Um, and, uh, yeah. All right. Okay, everybody, let's do it. Let's do it. See if maybe we can make it to Booma before getting in a random encounter. I doubt it, but we'll try. We will try, we will try. Oh my god, we will succeed! I love how the music is all peaceful and sweet now, even though the place is still covered in fucking mist. But, I mean, it is, to be fair, much more hospitable with the, you know, what with it not being freezing. Well, and Gala, I don't believe it. Booma isn't frozen anymore. You're right. I don't know Booma is such a beautiful town. I mean, hey, ice can be beautiful. Who says that just because this place was a, you know, a Viking habitat, that it wasn't, you know... St stop standing around! Meh! Ha ha ha, what an impatient girl. Come on, Vaughn, let's go. Just mosey on up there. Uh, being possessed by a Suru must also obviously be something that is, uh, you know, prevents you from catching a fucking cold. You know, not only does it stop you from aging, but apparently the only way to kill you is if you remove the Suru from the human. Or you. Whatever. I think it's already melted. Stop me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Just like Dr. Usha said. Tara, now we can wake up the Genesis tree. Yay! That's right. Oh my god. <laughs> Since... I... <laughs> The amount of, like, pontificating and exposition that has to go into waking up every fucking Genesis tree, Jesus. I love how we all have to do it for any other Genesis tree, but for these, apparently it's enough that we just each take a tree. Reached out powerfully. I mean, what does that mean? Does that mean, like, he threw a punch at the air? Like, whatever.
What sucks is that even though there's three Genesis trees, it doesn't have any more powerful of an effect. Nor do you gain three levels. I guess that's why we split up. Like, what, if we all revived each one, we would have gotten more levels? Just seems like, you know. Oh, their hard work is paid off. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, so, uh, spoiler alert, these are actually the last Genesis trees, uh, in a way, that we will be reviving. So, we've officially revived all of the Genesis trees in the world. Pretty cool, huh? Um, yeah. Very nice. Who would have thought the Genesis tree had its powers? Oh, hey, look, it's Kara. Or Kara. I feel like I've said this before, but like when it's spelled with a C, I always want to say Kara. And when it's spelled with a K, I want to say Kara. I don't know why. It's amazing. So the Genesis tree of Puma had such powers after all. I thought it was too late for us to do anything. Um, Kara? Can I have the Rasu rag that you have? Oh, we have one last little fetch quest we need to we need to run before she'll give it to us. What? So please just leave me alone. See now she's not like being sassy, she's just bitter. Now this part I don't understand and I can't really anybody that wants to explain it to me, feel free. Um Car, what are you doing? Why why is it so alarming that she's kneeled in between three Genesis trees? That day I buried my heart here. What? Let's leave Car alone for now. No, you can bury your heart and still live. Oh, I just don't get it. Uh, so yeah. Oh my god, I buried my heart in Grantees' heart here. Um, okay. I did not know you could do that. Okay. So these trees are warm. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't know they would do that if you touch them. Oh, God, there's even more. Okay. Fun, God, look in the sky. It looks like Soren. Yeah. Okay, so we have human like bodies with Sura wings. There's a Soren, all right. They must have found out about Boomer's Genesis tree and they've come to take a look. Hey, Soren, it's me, Noah, over here. Like they know. Oh, you're too far. They can't hear you. Huh. Good thinking, Gala. Using that brain. We just have to talk to the Sorin. And how we would do that, not exactly clear, but whatever. Now Kara's going to come over here, and this is the part I really don't get. Hey, it's Kara. Kara, you're bleeding. Your hand is all bloody. Why? Why is her hand bloody? What did she do? Is that what you buried in the ground? Now she's going to get sassy again. Go ahead and laugh if you think it's funny. Eh. You're right. This is the only memory I have left. This is the music he, Grantees, wrote after hearing my song your song. Apparently this woman's also a musician. It must be love. That's great, Kara. That stands for your love. Yay. Yeah. I don't know much about love, but let me see that. Uh, what are you doing, kid? <laughs> Just took it. I'll take this music to Grantys for you. Leave it to me. Well, thank you. Alright. 
Don't really have time for that, but oh well. It is the only way to get the roster reg. So. Although I don't think you... I don't know if you actually have to do this to advance the plot. But maybe... No, yeah, I think you do. Because it's the only way that you can get in touch with the Soren, I think. Uh, anyway. I'm gonna run around here and make sure we get all the delicious treasure and such. Um... Although, I, to be fair, I don't actually think there's much to get. Uh, but the doors aren't frozen anymore, so we can, you know, go inside them. Maybe it's just an illusion. Or do you want to hear my story? Sure. Before the floating castle started spewing out mist, I saw something. I saw a Soren flying from east to west. But there was something funny about the way the Soren was flying. I looked closely and I couldn't believe my eyes. Soren was carrying a child. <gasps> huh? That was Noah! How does she know this? I know, that was me. That Soren is carrying me. Oh my goodness, that was you? What a coincidence. That was an illusion after all. Fun. Let's find the Sora and they can take us to Conkrame. Okay. Alright. Miss from the floating castle is still outside. I hope it goes away soon. Me. Alright. Magic fruit. Neato. Can't risk it this in because it costs money. Uh, I'm so cold and the body is free. It shouldn't be cold now. It should be warm. What the fuck's the matter with you? Healing fruit. Yay, found a healing fruit in the fire. What it was doing in the fryer. The fryer. Well, what it was doing in the fire, I do not know, but uh, whatever, we found it. Don't really think there's anything else. There's a weapon shop and an item shop full of all sorts of goodies we can't have. But they used to sell Suru? Uh, okay, yeah, we do need this to get, uh, to advance the plot. Uh, alright, um, alright, I'm gonna do a little cutout here because there's not really any reason to watch me getting into random encounters on the world map, and because of the layout of this fucking place, you know, it having to go all the way around this spiral fucking thing, you know, it's just, yeah. I'll cut back in uh, next to Seoul, and uh, then we will advance the plot. All right, everybody, so we're right outside Seoul now. Uh, the reason I cut back in uh, mid-battle uh, is because I wanted you guys to get a nice, good gander at everybody's new Suru, or new, like, look. So Terra's front bit has kind of split off, and it's got, like, edges now. Meta is just kind of just getting bigger. Uh, Ozma has like a front facing sort of like, you know, looks almost like a, I don't know, but, um, it's still pretty cool. Yeah. So you can see Terra there looks pretty, pretty gnarly. Um, and all of the Saru now come up past their characters elbows pretty much. Um, I'm also going to take the time to show you guys the new hyper arts since uh, you only got to see Explosive Fist um, during the fight with Koru. Um, so, yeah. Alright, so um, the new one for Vaughn is Burning Flare. And it's pretty sweet. And the new one for Noah is this ridiculous hurricane kick, which... Honestly, I don't really know if its power is justifiable for how many slots it takes, but... 
you know, it's it's pretty good. Um, you know. Yeah, it's it's pretty gnarly. Um, I would say that um, you know, make sure that you squeeze in like a small three hit art afterwards. Yeah, like Sonic Javelin or Blizzard Bash or whatever else can chain off of that last hit. Um, just to. Because otherwise, honestly, you're better off using a Miracle Art or some other combination. Uh, but anyway, here we are. Um, so our destination right now is the mm, diner, I think. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, where is it? Or the Jazz Club, sorry. Not the diner. Yeah this so you go here and you try and talk to grantees what do you want from me carl wants, waits for you in buma that doesn't concern a kid like you what do you want from me look at this she music she music sorry i'm not a piano player it doesn't concern me so you go to the piano player i could tune it if you have any requests just bring me the she music Here, here's some music. Play this. Give the old sheet music to the piano player. This is so, so simple. Hmm. Oh, are you gonna play it or not? Nah. All right, I'll play it. Jeez, what an impatient young girl. Ahem. Maybe. I don't know where Noah learned to be so impatient. I mean, she's raised by a wolf. I mean, impatience is kind of a more of a spoiled quality, I would imagine. That's not that simple. I hear multiple layered notes. You know, you make it sound like fucking chopsticks. Jesus fucking Christ. There's single notes, there's chords, there's little flourishes. That's not that simple. Missed it, Puma. Mist is gone. Eh. I know I'm young and inexperienced compared to you, but I'll tell you this. I don't know what happened to you in the past. And I don't know whether you hurt the one you love. And you can't, and, and, and you can turn your back in the past and sit around despondent about the future but I have no respect for someone who tries to kill his own spirit like that it's kind of harsh that song did Kara do something that's right Kara loves you and we should all to get get together and have a fucking orgy Kara said that whatever happens that love will always be true Kara said that I remember now, that's the melody she was playing on my flute, first time I saw her. Came down to the surface following the melody, that's when I found Kara. How did she playing the flute? How did she get her hands on your flute? Jesus. I know I'm a horrible man, didn't resp take responsibility for the love I felt. Think she'll forgive me? Of course she will. Alright fellas, guess I'm still depending too much on, the, on others. Now I realize that. You taught me a lesson. Now that the mist is gone from Buma, I'm gonna... Go to Buma on my own two legs and tall t tell Kara, tall tall Kara, something I don't know. Tell her that it's never too late to change, as long as there's desire to change. There, bet, 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 bet. maybe if I tell her that I'm grateful from the bottom of my heart, she'll have sex with me again. <laughs> I love how he's wearing like bell bottoms and he just looks like he's came from 80s night. Waiting in Puma. Yeah. It'll be okay, right? Carol, forgive Grantees, right? Even with Grantees the way it is, love is still alive. Miracle is sure to happen. 
Wow, you're great, God. You know everything about love. Let me suck your dick. <laughs> well, the, 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 the teachings of burn say strength gets love, and well, me, me, me. Wow, you're great. <laughs> I don't know why that's blush worthy. Anyway, I'm gonna cut out again while we run back to Buma. All right, we're back in Buma, or Buma, or whatever. Fuck it. That's Car's house. One plane in the northwest. Thanks. It's cold. The whole body is still freezing. All right. Here we are. We get to interrupt these people while they're trying to get it on. It's me, Noah, I'm here. <laughs> what the fuck? Car, Granty, so you made up, huh? You gonna bang now? Actually, I, uh, we're just... Noah, don't embarrass them. What do you mean, Gala? Oh boy. If you don't mind, I'd like to hear what happened. Well, you tell them, Granties. All right. So you do get a little bit of backstory here. I was torn between my love for Kara and Soren Law. It was then that Zora, Master of the Flying Castle, appeared to me. She said she would give Kara sewer wings if I helped her. Like a fool, I believed her and stole this town's raw sewer eggs. There were three eggs. I gave two to Zora. The remaining egg I gave to Kara. That's this one here. He gave it to me and said it was a symbol of our love. But of course, Zora lied. Ha. She never gave me Zora wings. I escaped with my life, but my Soren people found out everything I did. As a punishment for breaking Soren Law, they took my Soren wings and banished me to the surface. For ten years after that, I, as you know, well, I was, you know, shit-faced in the fucking bar, getting kershmamificated. Kara was alone too, I understand. Yeah. Oh, Granties. Love, that's love, I know. It. Love is wonderful. Me. Hey, interrupt, but we have yet to see... We have to see the Soren. Can you help us? All right, then. Here, I'll give you this. That was a Soren flute. So this, ironically, is... Surface dweller has no use for it. If you want to meet the Soren, go to the summit of Mount Dini. Dini? I feel like that's got to be how that's pronounced. Dini. Mount Dini. And play this flute. Soren will think you're a Soren and fly right over to you. Ha ha ha. Never mind that I'm misleading them by giving you this. So, we got the Sor Soren Flute and the Light Egg. They never... <laughs> oh, we must get going. Huh? Why? Uh, you want to go to conquer him and, you know, advance the plot, right? Don't want to bother these two lovebirds, do we? I don't really understand, but since you know about love, God, I'll do whatever you say. Wow. Hmm. Alright then. Let's go back in there and interrupt them some more. Wait, there's another cutscene here? I've been wondering all along. Uh, why my Rosser egg never turned into a Rosser like yours? What is it that you have that I don't, I wondered. I finally understand. It's compassion. Compassion for a troubled world. 
Passion for life itself. What, you don't have compassion? Different kinds of love. My love for grantees is important, but... Your compassion in Von and Gala's is so much deeper and stronger. It's much, much stronger than my silly love for grantees. Listen to him having to, like, listen, sit here and listen to you say shit like that. Strong love, deep love, so much love everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> Sacred duty of the strong is ultimate love. I mean, I can get behind that. If you got power and strength, you should, you know, endeavor to be loving since, you know, it's kind of like saying that, you know, those in power should be compassionate. The strong should look after the weak. I can get behind that. It's still precious, and that's enough for me. We're going to nurture that love together with grantees. Praying for your success. So, grantees, she's going to nurture her love for you. How's that feel? Probably feels moist, huh? Yep. All right, so I'm going to cut out again real quick while I go... Um, well, actually, no, I don't need to. Hold on. Fuck, fuck cuts. I don't need to cut. So I got a door of wind, bitches. I have two. <laughs> Precisely. Oh, man. All right. Uh, yeah, hopefully I don't need to... You know, maybe I should make a save state here. Uh, okay, so we'll make a save state there, and then in addition to that, I will also save here. Alright. There we go. Alright, awesome. Hopefully I don't need more than two doors of wind. One to get there and one to get back. So yeah, we're going to go to Jeremy, and we're going to take that light egg, and we're going to give it to... I mean, honestly, I don't know why we can't just find another Genesis tree and get it to hatch, and then have somebody with two Rasuru. Uh, you know, but the game doesn't work like that for whatever reason. So, um, yeah. So instead, we're going to give it to Zalan. Oh, well, well, well. It's a very rare gem indeed. May I see it? Yes. This is amazing. It's not exactly a gem, but it's quite a treasure. And I sense an amazing power inside it. If you wish, I will work on this for you. Making an accessory out of it may bring out its amazing power. Yes. So that light talisman will let me summon, are you ready for this? The light Rasuru. Now later in the game, you can get talismans for the other Suru, um, the other Rasuru. Um, however, there's two that we will not be able to get because they require an expenditure of money to do so. However, once I've done everything else in the game there is to do, I will go ahead and get those for you just so that you guys can see them. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to give this to Gala because he's the best with light through. And then he's going to have the spirit jewel and I'm going to actually give him the magic rail. And he's going to be a healing bitch pretty much. But he won't have to be that much of a healing bitch because the Suru that this is going to let him summon, Horn... Horn is the light, Rasuru. Uh, so Rasuru summonings cost a whopping 200 fucking MP. Uh, cut to 150 if you have the spirit 
uh, jewel. And I think you get something called the spirit gem, maybe, later. Or maybe it's a spirit talisman, something like that. Uh, that will actually cut it in half, so then it would be 100 MP. But uh, with that and the magic rail attached, he should be able to summon it, you know, whenever necessary. Uh, but the thing is, is that this will essentially replace 90% of healing. Um, the reason for that being that not only does it recover HP, but it will also revive people if they are dead. So, kind of a big deal. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so I can just wait for someone to die and then worry about summoning it. That person that dies just can't be Gala. <laughs> All right, guys, um, I will see you guys in the next episode. going to go ahead and cut this one here. Door of Winded back to Caristo, and then we will head for Mount Dini. All right, see you guys then.